Hello everyone, welcome back to Rocio Knitted World. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to make another character from the game Among Us. This time, we'll make the character that has the bone exposed. Materials White yarn for the bone, the main color of the character, and the dark color for the part that is below the bone. Stuffing, needle, scissors, and hook. I am using a hook number 2.7 millimeters. Start with the magic ring. Make six single crochet in round number one. Close the round with slip stitch. All the rounds from here and up, we are going to finish them with a slip stitch. Round two, make six increases. An increase means two single crochet in one. One, two. Again, one and two in the same stitch from the previous round. At the end of this round, we'll have 12 stitches. For round three, start with one increase, then one single crochet, one increase again, one single crochet, and so till finish the round. We will have 18 stitches. On first round, we made 6 single crochet, 12 single crochet on round 2, and 18 on round 3. Now, from round 4 to round 10, make 18 single crochet. I am finishing round 10. I close it with a slip stitch. Cut and stuff a little. This is the first leg. Now make the second leg following the same steps. I just finished second leg. Now let's make round 11. Start with four single crochet. Three chains. Right here where the slip stitches are, count four and then insert your hook and make one single crochet. Here on this place where the slip stitches are at every end of rounds, it looks like there are two stitches, but we'll use only one. Finish the round with 17 stitches plus the first one that we made. We won't make slip stitch at this point because this is not the end of the round yet. Make three single crochet over the three chains we made the previous round. Continue by making 14 single crochet before to get to the four that we made first. So we made four single crochet at the beginning, three chains, 18 single crochet on second leg, 
three more single crochet on the three chains 14 single crochet to complete the 18 stitches from this leg close around with slip stitch we'll get 42 stitches 18 from leg 1 18 from second leg 3 from one side and 3 from the other side 42 stitches total from round 12 to round 26 make 42 stitches now stuff a little now it's time to make the little bone take your white yarn make a magic ring and then make five single crochet one two three four five close it and slip stitch round two make five increases and you will get ten stitches for round three and four make ten single crochet make a second one following the same instructions now let's put them together for round five make one chain insert your hook and the other piece exactly where the first stitch would be and make 10 single crochet then make another 10 single crochet on the other piece at the end of round 5 we'll have 20 single crochet this is the result Clouds around with slip stitch on the first stitch we made. For round six, make 10 decreases. To make an increase, insert your hook on the next stitch and now insert it on the second stitch and then put them together and from two stitches now you have only one make nine more decreases at the end of the round we have ten single crochet but before ending the round six stop the bones a little bit after stuffing make a slip stitch From round 7 to round 11, make 10 single crochet. But before closing the round 11, we'll change the color. So don't make the last slip stitch. Insert your hook on the first stitch that we made in the previous round and take the new color. Finish the slip stitch and now you have the second color for round 12 the pattern is one increase and one single crochet for five times at the end of the road we'll have 15 stitches For round 13, make one increase and two single crochet five times to have at the end 20 stitches.
before start with round 14 stuff a little more your bone now for this round make one increase and three single crochet at the end we'll have 25 stitches The pattern for round 15, one increase and four single crochet to get 30 stitches. Round 16, one increase and five single crochet. At the end of the, of the round, we have 35 stitches. For round 17, make one increase and six single crochet to get 40 stitches. But before making the slip stitch, change the color to the main color of the character. In this case, I use light blue. For round 18, make 40 single crochet. There are no increases nor decreases. When you finish, make slip stitch, cut the yarn, if you and if you need to stuff a little more, you can do it now. We make 42 stitches to make the body and 40 stitches for this part of the bone. Now it's time to sew them. They have not the same quantity of stitches, but there is no problem. Place the bone this way. You can start sewing anywhere you want, except for the front. Insert your needle from inside. Take one stitch from the bone and one stitch from the body and sew them together. Before finish sewing, check if you need more stuffing, you can do it now. Make a safety knot, hide the yarn and cut it. This is the result. The bone must look this way. Now let's make the back. Start with 11 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Start on second chain and make nine single crochet.
on last chain make three single crochet on the other side of the chains make eight single crochet and hide the yarn one two three four five six seven eight on last chain make only one single crochet and then close around and make one slip stitch we'll have 21 stitches at the end of the round for round 2 make 21 stitches I am finished and now make a slip stitch turn it and now from round 3 to round 11 make 21 single crochet make one safety chain and cut the yarn now stuff a little in the back insert your needle from inside by take only the half of the chain now take the half of the chain of the other side and sew them together Sewing so this way, it makes it look like the bottom. Make a safety knot and cut. now the little bag is done let's place it on the back of the body
We'll sew it from inside and leaving about half inch. It makes it look a little separated from the body. Insert your needle and hide the knot. Place it in the middle of the body and now take one stitch from the body one stitch from the back, one stitch from the body, one stitch from the back, until finish. This is our final result. If you want to learn how to make the full character, you can check my other video. I'm going to leave the link here in the description box. If you have questions about the process, you can let me know. If you like the video, please like it, share and subscribe to the channel.